Hello YouTubers. This is a tutorial to show you that you don't have to do the HD settings to get the widescreen capability on your YouTube profile. Now I've been faffing about with some settings on Sony Vegas and basically I've come up with this. One of the things that annoyed me was that every time I tried to do the HD settings I could never get the HD button on there and the quality of the video was just rubbish and the rendering time was just ridiculous. What I did was change the settings on the screen size and basically came up with this quality of video. What you want to do to start off with is press that little button there which gives you the project properties. Now what I've done is the screen size is custom it's 640 by 360 the frame rate is 25 and it's PAL, the pixel aspect ratio is 1.0000 square. All the other bits on there are pretty self-explanatory. The audio I left as it was, basically. And there's the audio. Right, so that's the project properties set. So you've done that, okay. Now what you do is you've got your, your video there. Now if you need to adjust the size you go into track motion which brings that up and basically you can change your size to make the screen fit so that all the black lines are got rid of. Then what you do is you go into render as and I always use WMV because it's just easier. Uh, you go into custom. Now I have got in there I've got CBR, Windows Media Audio 9.2, 192 KB, PS, etc. etc. In the video I've got CBR again, um, image size is custom, it's 640 by 360 and the frame rate is 25.000 PAL. The bit rate is th internet LAN and it's 3M. Oh you've got to put project to best. Once you've done all that name it what you want to name it. Press OK and then press save. Now I'm going to use these settings on this tutorial and we'll see if it's any good. But from what I've seen of the test one that I did, these settings are really good. You get the HQ button on the YouTube. Here is the test one that I did. As you can see, it fills up the whole screen. And you've got the HQ button down there. So there you go. That is my quick tutorial about how to get the widescreen without having to do HD. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you later. Okay, bye bye.